Fortnite Battle Royale became free to download everywhere last fall and has become more popular now than ever. The new game allows competitors to fight it out in a total free-for-all where the only way to win is by being the last man standing. I like the thrill of it, especially having a good time with my friends when we play it. So, it's a good time for bonding. In addition to fighting alone, players can take on other squads alongside their friends, making Fortnite a social experience. I don't know, it's just kind of a way to play the game with your friends and so you can all be on the same team. Players start off every game being dropped above an island where they have to search for weapons and supplies. Once they land, the storm slowly shrinks around the map, forcing the competitors to fight. Every match promises some heart-pounding action. You, you get your heart racing at the end of it when it's like a 1v1 or something like that. While most players have a great time playing alone or with friends, some can get more emotionally involved in a match than others. Like once you get to the top five, like this is like your whole entire life basically is trying to get that dub. And when you don't, I mean you just want to cry for a little bit, but I mean you get over it and you move on to the next game. But I mean it takes a toll emotionally, but I mean like it's a lot of fun even with the tears. Students and gamers everywhere are enjoying Fortnite and it shows no sign of going away anytime soon. This has been Jack Ward and Andrew Pfeiffer with the MWHS Wildcat News.